All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys this, uh, well, circle plasma cutter jig that I made. I'm just going to go ahead and explain really quick how I made all this. So uh, I did use a one inch stock and uh, I think this is two inch or one and three quarters, something around there. So I actually had to turn down some collars uh, for my plasma cutter torch to fit in. So I cut it out of this uh, large stock here and then I went ahead and I got some uh, threaded rod and I welded it on there um, a Harbor Freight magnet I mean those things are like $1.99 pretty cheap I put this on the lathe and I actually turned the center true yeah I mean there's no bearings or anything um, this is a tapered stainless steel screw that I just picked up at the home improvement store or the hardware store and um, it has, I think, like a 30 degree uh, bevel there. It's a taper. So, I mean, it goes into the stock and it's tightened down, but it also allows enough room so this can move around. So first thing first, I'm just going to kind of do a little dry run here. So, I mean, the plasma cutter just pretty much goes right in there. All right, time to fire this baby up. Alright, so obviously I still need practice with my newly made tool there, but I mean there's some parts here where it came out really nice. I mean that is a really clean, beautiful cut. Then again, I'm only doing this with like a 27 amp plasma cutter, so it is on 220. It's a Miller 375 Extreme uh, dual voltage, but if I had a stronger machine, I mean I guess I could make the cut a lot more faster um, this is I think 3 16 steel so I mean a little bit more practice and I just gotta get down really and you know just adjust my uh, travel speed and stuff like that and probably adjust the uh, nozzle tip too but yeah I mean I, I kind of sh I'll kind of show you here where I messed up where I had to do like starts and stops and stuff but for the most part though like this section that's a really good cut so as you can clearly see there the jig has a much smoother cleaner cut compared to the uh, freehand all right guys so that was my plasma cutting jig that I made there I want to go ahead and thank you for watching or taking the time to watch my video uh, I really wish that I could have made that a long time ago uh, it would have been a big help but hey Better late than never, I guess. But yeah, thanks for watching. All the new guys coming into the channel, my new subscribers, everybody else. Thanks, guys. And I will see you guys on the next one.